It just felt like it ain't really nobody, no, nobody's, nobody's business. business. Yeah, but yeah. But now Black Twitter has claimed <laughs> it as their business. <laughs> but, you know, I, I think um, you need to say clearly what happened. As far as what? You and I decided we were going to take our space and what happened. Yeah. And then I got into an entanglement with August. That's what I said. An entanglement? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. A relationship. Yes. It was a yeah. relationship. Absolutely. I was in a lot of pain and I was very broken. Now, in the process of that relationship, I definitely realized that. Well, me and Jada was reflecting about love. And I asked her, I said, what did she think was, you know, one of the biggest revelations that she had had about love? She said that you cannot make a person happy. And I thought that was a real deep idea. You can make a person smile. You can make a person feel good. You can make a person laugh. But whether or not a person is happy is deeply and totally and utterly out of your control. I remember the day um, I retired. I literally said to Jada, that's it. I retire. I retire from trying to make you happy. I need you to go make yourself happy and just prove to me that it's even possible. And after we cracked the hell up, um, we started talking about, we came into this false romantic concept that somehow when we got married that we would become one. And what we realized is that we were two completely separate people on two completely separate individual journeys and that we were choosing to walk our separate journeys together. But her happiness was her responsibility and my happiness was my responsibility. And we decided that we were going to find our individual, uh, internal, private, separate joy. And then we were going to present ourselves to the relationship and to each other already happy, not coming to each other, uh, begging with our empty cups out, uh, demanding that she fill my cups, the cup and demanding that she meet my needs.